at 6 o'clock, a not-so-warm welcome for Ida evacuees. They are already dealing with heartbreaking circumstances back home. Now they're being dealt another blow. These are targeting their cars right here in Houston for their catalytic converters. In fact, one of those families now sharing their story only on two tonight. They came here for safety, but became crime victims instead. Several cars were just hit in the Willowbrook area, mm -hmm. and that is in addition to multiple thefts earlier this week near Bush Airport. KPRC 2's Brandon Walker live with that story tonight. And Brandon, this is not the welcome that we want to give our neighbors from Louisiana. Yes, certainly not, Dominique. And by the way, quite a few Louisiana license plates there in the parking lot. They're all concerned about homes. Some of them have relatives with whom they've yet to make contact. So now they're in Houston. And on top of that, they've got to worry about who's going to their cars, going underneath and cutting off those catalytic converters. As soon as they said it was going to be a Category 4. 140 mile an hour winds Sunday morning. We left New Orleans for Hurricane Ida. Jessica and Jonathan Rust are among the tens of thousands to get out before Ida swept in. I had lived through Katrina there and lost everything and decided I'm escaping and getting out. The Rusts drove to Houston, settling at this residence inn in Willowbrook, rode out the storm. Then came Tuesday morning. We went to start the vehicle. It was so loud, it scared us. I realized instantly uh, our catalytics, uh, catalytic converter was stolen off of our vehicle. Sound familiar? It's just heartbreaking. This week, we introduced you to yet another Louisiana native seeking refuge in Houston, only to find their catalytic converter cut. Well, I didn't know this was such a prevalent problem. What officers believe to be three to 400 stolen parts. It is a problem, say police, a growing one. One of the mechanics I talked to said he had uh, three more vehicles just like it in, in the service bay at the time with the same issue. The Russs paid for their repairs are grateful for that, yet worried about others. Fled Ida and may not have the money. And it felt like we were being targeted and getting kicked while we were down. Yeah, it's just a mess. The Rusts, meantime, are finding another place to stay. Houston police investigating this case, also the others. We're live in Willowbrook on the north side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.